What's up YouTube? This is Amo and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can validate your form in Laravel. So uh, basically what we did is that we created a form and we can store uh, data from this form but uh, what if we leave these inputs empty so if I click on this send button this error message will be pop up which means that uh, these inputs cannot be null so we need to require the user to fill these inputs but how do we do that so let's go to the web.php and use validator class by saying illuminate support facades and validator okay now we are able to use this validator class so let's just say validator variable is equals to validator class and then make method will get request and all and this all means uh, all the inputs all the available inputs from the form and then title should be required so where do I get this required this is an uh, available uh, validation rule so you can see all the rules from uh, Laravel in its uh, documentation there are a lot of rules but I use this one so I say also body should be required and that's it so uh, I have to show the user the messages that uh, if the inputs are empty we need to fill this okay so I say if validator fails just return and redirect us to the previous page and we say by uh, writing back method back method redirects us to the previous page so uh, but this time with errors and with errors by the validator variable okay that's it if i refresh the page and oh, i need to add this uh, to the blade also so i say if errors any kind of error appeared just show me a dive with a style of color red and in this dive I say ul and close this then I say for each errors put them as error variable and then close this end for each li then mustache brackets represents the error so refresh the page and just leave them empty as you can see I can uh, see the error messages that the title field is required and the body field is also required okay uh, but there is another way to validate data so go to web.php and for example uh, I can add more validation to this I can say minimum minimum characters should be 10 and maximum characters should be 50 so if I refresh the page and I put title 
and then body here because the title field is not uh, has not the minimum characters i should get the error message yes the title must be at least 10 characters okay that's very nice but the other way to do this is that uh, removing the validator variable and just call the validator class and after this I need to add validate method at the end and then remove this line so in this way I get the messages again how just send this and again the title field is required and the body field is required okay but I didn't determine the uh, redirect or back or uh, any kind of validator variable because this validate method uh, does all those things and we don't need them so it's very easier so uh, the other way is that saying uh, validate data is equals to validator class and instead of validate I say validated this is another method and the benefits of this way is that I can use this validate data instead of request for posting data but this time I need to replace the parentheses and let's see as you can see I can uh, see a blank screen and if I browse the data I can see that the last data is just added and everything looks nice and if I uh, leave this inputs empty these error messages will be pop up